Hey everyone, I'm Rob and welcome to the test drive. Today, I'm going to the North American International Auto Show in Detroit for the very first time and I'm extremely excited about it. So this trip was originally supposed to be a surprise that my wife had planned for me and all I knew is that we were going somewhere four hours away, which Detroit's actually a little bit further than four hours away. But because of a comment from a subscriber asking me if I was going to the show, I started to think about it and then I realized what the surprise was and actually it was a good thing that I found out because yeah. my wife didn't realize that to drive from New York State to Detroit, Michigan, you have to go through Canada and we would have, she would have put it in the GPS, we would have been driving and showed up at the border with no passports. So, because I did find out, um, you know, we had passports and we didn't have to go back home. We still have another surprise though. Yeah, so there's still another surprise and I don't know everything that we're doing on our second day, but right now we are driving through Canada right now to Detroit and I'm extremely excited because I've never been to the Detroit Auto Show. And actually, two weeks ago was the press event. So this is actually the public event. It's been like the last week or eight days or whatever. But the press event uh, is awesome. We were actually in New Orleans, couldn't have gone anyways. But that's awesome because there's a lot less people and basically all the cars are unlocked versus with the public event, I think some of them are gonna be unlocked. We'll see. Either way, we'll get to go in some of them, I think. I don't know. I've never been. You're taking I me on a surprise. So. I we were get to no, play. we are. We're going to get to see a lot. Are you tired? I'm so hungry. <laughs> what do you want to eat? What sounds like the best thing? At this point, anything. I'll eat a Whopper. Ew. I'll eat a Big Mac, Quarter Pounder. <laughs> No. Uh, I'll eat stale french fries at this point. You have anything that we can eat. What about ceviche? What's that? Like raw fish. Wait. Wait. Would you eat beef tartare right now? <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Oh, um, so gross. Yeah. Oh, no. You just eat raw beef, raw you know, cow you with an egg it. yolk. You can eat it. People eat that. Sure, people eat anything. People eat bugs. Okay, it's not the same as eating bugs. It's similar. It's not Creepy even thing that should not be. It's gross. You would, you think that eating steak tartare is equivalent to eating like a cricket? Yeah, I would say it's in the weird foods category. All right, we got options. We got BK and Tim Hortons. I'm sure we can I think it's going to be BK. <laughs> I can't believe you Desperate did it. Desperate times. Is it done? Very hot. <laughs> I remember it tasting better than this. So because I didn't get gas in New York, I have to stop in Canada to get gas and they don't have 93 here. So, sorry car, you're getting 91 today.
couple R8s here, which are just absolutely phenomenal. V10 Plus, um, incredible engine, awesome sound. I feel like a couple years ago I wasn't as impressed with Audi, and now, like, everything. I'm impressed with every single vehicle. I mean, they are some of the best looking. So obviously, we're gonna go to BMW, we're gonna go to Mercedes, we're gonna, uh, you know, check out the competition, but you know, I definitely very impressed with what I'm seeing. Spend the extra 27000 let's say, and get a Huracan. The X2 is obviously a huge deal because it just came out, and you know, BMW has three X2s right next to each other. It's very nice, the MKZ, the seats feel exactly like what's in the Fusion Titanium. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this is massaging my butt now. Massaging your butt? We got a massage cycle going here. You enjoying really it? Nice sound system. Mercedes interior game, number one. Mercedes has an absolutely just unbelievable looking, very nice, I mean extremely elegant. Color scheme is very interesting. Obviously, big emphasis on the G Wagon. The new G Class is kind of the centerpiece of the show for them. That and the emphasis on electric and more so with the plug in hybrid. I mean, you have a plug in C Class, GLC, GLE, um, you know, 
that you also have the EQ concept car, which is, again, it's a concept, but very cool. Uh, I think it's more of Mercedes kind of showing their commitment and kind of, I guess, vision in terms of electric, but then it's, you know, contrasted with the giant hulking G-Wagon, which is the opposite of an economical vehicle. Behind me is the all new Ram 1500 as well. Really, oh sorry, really nice facelift. Uh, really nice, cleaner, more elegant design. The old Ram was just much more tired. Uh, so again, here you have the 1500 and up there you have the Ram Rebel as well. Trail Boss. Cool. All right. Welcome to the world of four. So it's getting dark, it's Sunday, we're about to drive back to New York. So I think this is a good spot to end the video, but I had an awesome time at the Detroit Auto Show. It was a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot of individual videos as well about different cars. It's gonna be a lot of other videos, but I wanted to do this one and kind of encompass everything and then I'll do more videos in detail. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you hit the subscribe button and we hit a thousand subscribers before February 20th, which I know we will, we're already getting so close, I'm gonna give away a GoPro Hero 4 session camera on the channel. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and at that time, I'm also going to announce the next giveaway. So again, a lot of fun stuff happening. Hit the subscribe button to be a part of it, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.